So let's finish up some of this shoulder mobility stuff. So uh, a couple of things that you can do, literally guys, it'll take you like five minutes to do all this stuff. It doesn't really take you that long. Um, I'm gonna go over a ton of explanation, but again, it becomes very helpful. So uh, you have your lacrosse ball. If you have a yoga block, one of these guys, totally cool. If not, you can go ahead and buy one. Uh, they're probably like five, 10 bucks, not too expensive. Um, a lot of use for those. And then from there, two and a half or five pound plates or whatever. Uh, I would say no heavier than five, okay? So um, from there, let's say you have some overhead stuff, some handstand push up or press work. Uh, elbow kind of feels a little funky as well. So what do we like to do with the lacrosse ball here? We'll go into a lunge position so I can probably stretch out my hip flexor while I'm at it. From there, I'll go ahead and start opening up my, uh, try to do a little bit of a tricep smash. So from there, I'm just hanging out. All I'm doing is just opening and closing, let it hang out. I'll move my wrists around. So I'll try to get a little bit of a, of a relief on the elbow. Um, one of the other things that I like to do is, uh, especially for my grip, um, I like putting my hand flat, I still use the same ball. And from there, and I just start rolling right on top. So again, giving some, uh, release some tension on those fingers. Uh, again, you can just push some pressure on it. If that's too easy for you, obviously we're kind of in an elevated per, uh, position. So we're able to use our weight to go ahead and press down just like a tabletop. So it makes it nice and easy for us to do that. Um, so for example, you just did all these two, you did those two movements and you're still like, uh, I feel still a little tight. Um, another way of like isolating is you can use the plate. Okay, so if you just wanna stay in the same spot, you use the plate and you use the lacrosse ball, I mean the softball. I, again, that's the reason why I like using the softball, just because it's bigger. So I like to put it there. Then from there, I can really like put some pressure on it. I don't have to worry about it rolling or any of that. So I can just kind of hang out, put some pressure on. If you have a buddy that you trust, you can put some pressure behind the shoulder and you can dig into it a little bit more. And that normally becomes fairly helpful when you're doing that movement, okay? So let's say uh, you're still working on, like your delts are still a little tight, you hear some clicking, all that other uh, not so fun stuff, okay? So what you can do is you use yoga block. Um, again, easy way of warming up. So I'll put the ball there, I'll grab uh, just a plate. From there, I'll go in and out. You've probably have done these probably sometime in your lifetime. Most of the time, what they'll do is you'll lay down. So you'll lay down and do this very sexy and you can give a nice pose when you do this, but you know, same thing, okay? Again, you're using gravity to pull down. Again, what you're doing is just going right to your belly, then from there going right to a 90 degree position. Again, right to your belly, 90 degree position. So, uh, easy way of warming up the shoulders and the delts. Again, it only takes you about five minutes to do these kind of movements. Nothing crazy, okay? Nothing crazy about doing any of this stuff. Um, a lot of times, the, the box is what most people like don't set up because uh, they want to do it on the ground. Again, I think it's way more effective to do this on a box that you're on an elevated uh, position in order to do that. Not only that, if the box is set up, I mean, there's another video for another day. Again, you can set up the box if you make it work on your hamstring, put the box there, I stand up, I sit on it, I can do all this stuff. So set up the box, guys. It doesn't take you that long to do. Really, really simple. Uh, stay tuned, we're gonna do another video with some uh, crossover symmetry stuff. You guys will really like that, so stay tuned when you wanna, uh, we'll go ahead and post it so you guys can check it out. Again, like, share, send to your friends, hopefully this stuff helps. Thank you guys.